still be looking for ways to fill that up. And that's how you end up with uh, whatever, whatever situations these women ultimately end up in. Either so that we'll, or you end up alone. So we will uh, let Shatoria uh, close out this one and then we're going to go on to our wrap it up series. This is a series where we let each person kind of give a two to three segment on just whatever they want. Go ahead, uh, Shatoria, wrap this up. So this is the issue of uh, we reaping what we're sowing. And this is also an issue of, if you look at, like Jimmy said, his generation, look at the age that these parents had their kids. These are kids that were raising kids. And then I have another issue, too, is if you also think about a lot of these kids who are following Nicki Minaj and um, Carly B and all of them, a lot of them don't don't get the self-esteem affirmations from home. So me, I have a seven-year-old daughter. We do affirmations every morning because I didn't have it growing up. Now, when I see young ladies following this right here, these artists, because they obviously ain't got nothing else to look up to, but there is no way in hell we see this and be like, it's okay. The girls that are following Nicki Minaj, and let's be honest, Jill, what you call them little girls? See the girls? <laughs> yeah, city girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Girl, like, they literally got a song time out, you need a man with a visa. What? Who? Wait. And for and these girls are eating it up. It's like, yes. And I'm looking at the girls that are sitting there. What's the value that's going on in the house? Because let me tell you something. This also goes back into we have some absentee parents. I'm not talking about just absentee dads. Absentee parents. Because you can have two parents in the household and still be absent. You can have a mama and, you know, you can have daddy's there, mama's missing. Mommy's there, dad. So we got absentee parents going on to where these kids feel like I have to look up to this. And it's the reason why I take lyrics very seriously and I control what my daughter hears. Because what you ain't going to do is think that's okay. We're not popping booty around here. We ain't doing none of that. <laughs> you got it out here to where they make it seem like the dudes they got is the greatest. And guess what's going to happen? These young ladies are going to go get men like that and be like, well, I mean, he ain't hit me. So I don't understand why it's an issue. This is the generation that is out there trying to make the most noise but causing the most problems. And when I say they cause the most problems, as a mother... I have a complete concern because I got to tell my son, he's 20, about to be 21. These females ain't the females when I was growing up. I am about to be 39 and they look no different. Slashing tires, you know, popping up at those, those type of things. We got a whole new set of generation of kids who are very jumpy. They going for it. They don't care. They don't care about being the side piece. They don't care about telling you you're the side piece. They don't care what they look like when they go outside. And I'm talking about halfway dressed to nothing. Let's be honest. We don't even know who's 13, 14, 15 years old anymore. Like back in the day, you can tell who's a teenager. Like <laughs> I know I, my grandma had me in ponytails and everything else. You don't see that no more. These kids are being made to be adults. And when you got that going on, then what are they looking up to? Who's basically they can see on TV and follow. Technology is a beast these days. So some media has no coverage of too many. And you got a lot of people like myself out here trying to fight that stigma because if not, if we think teen, uh, teenage pregnancy is on the high, baby, let me tell you, it's about to get real worse. And we're going to be honest, you got 11-year-olds out here getting pregnant. So it, we got to come to a point where what Nicki Minaj is saying is absolutely false. The narrative is absolutely wrong. But that also comes back in to people like us have to change that narrative. We have to get back out there in the community, especially with our young men, because the young men think this is cute. They understand, they think this is cute, but they're like, let me get my little quickie in and I'm good to go. Not realizing y'all are sowing seeds. That's why we got so many teenage pregnancies and people not being able to handle business and why we got, I mean, let's be honest, DMV area. Every time you turn the news, there's shootings, there's this, there's that among our young people. Why? Because of what they see what they've been taught, and there's nobody there saying. Let me phrase that before I end. There ain't no no praying grandmamas like it was back in the day. Let's call it, let's, let's be honest, because a lot of these grandmothers are basically 40, 50 years old. And so there's no praying grandmothers. There's no family dynamics anymore. And unfortunately, just like Jamie said, a lot of these girls are like, yeah, I can do it on my own. 
they they want certain things without the commitment. You hear people saying they want to get married. I mean, they want to they want to be living together and be legally together, but not married. Well, why do I need a piece of paper? But then yeah. we got a situation like DMZ, uh, D, uh, DMX, excuse me, DMX. When he died, his fiance was yeah, nope, you you wasn't married, so you get nothing. Then you got Nips, you know, Nipsey Hussle, his situation. Like this is real life. Like we have to understand. We don't get to live long. It ain't back in the day when, you know, they say people was, you know, living here to be 900 years old. We ain't doing that. Some people don't even make it past 15, 21, 40. So we got to be mindful of what we are producing as people. And if we send something, are we send something? Are we changing the narrative of what these kids are seeing? And I ain't just talking about the girls, the guys too, because the hustle ain't all that it is. And let's be real. A lot of these rappers are not even speaking their own truth. Just my opinion. So tell us a story. So we will. Uh, we're gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, Jamie, Jay, and Shatori. I want you guys to kind of uh, let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, we're gonna keep this real brief, real short. Um, we're not gonna uh, go any further uh, as far as the topics. Um, just let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, give, give, give. You know, Jamie knows how this goes. <laughs> you know, a little short introduction, a, a piece of advice you want people to kind of take from you and this panel. Um, tell the people what, what, how to find you, what's going on, future. Um, we'll, we'll start with Jay. You know, we never really start with Jay. So Jay, go ahead and oh, keep man. it short. Tell the people, <laughs> tell the people what you got going on. Tell them about Echo Chamber a little bit. Tell them about, you know, <clears throat> kind of what you, you keep it real uh, short. Uh, so real, it's, you keep saying short, and I feel I feel attacked. I don't, I don't. <laughs> no, you, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it short too. I'm gonna keep it short too because I'm, I'm gonna keep it short too. Uh, it's all love, bro. Um, but um, yeah, uh, I am Jay Echo, one half of the Less Rap Podcast. You can find me here uh, and on our uh, on our main show. Um, right now, got uh, got some new ep- Echo Chambers coming out um have uh two episodes coming up with the uh what, the main weirdo um main weirdo, she uh, was so she really was dope, really really dope show really, really she dope was show. kind enough to uh to show up on the uh what to show up not only echo on chamber echo chamber but she right. had us on her show yeah. so we uh we thank her for that those episodes are coming soon um couple more episodes and uh, like Phil said we are going to start attacking uh, acceptance on uh, on our main show um yeah. and and you know can't wait for that if, one and Shatori is laughing because we've talked about this can't yeah, wait for this uh, one can't wait and, for this uh, one. <laughs> and uh what I would suggest people take away from this one is um learn your value we, we say all the time, know your value, but some people don't even learn what value actually is. So yeah. learn your value and then, and then know what yours is. So yeah. that's, that's about it. Yeah. All right. Jamie, you got the floor, man. All right, man. So of course I got a YouTube. I knew it's coming. I knew it's coming. You got, I, I got a YouTube. <laughs> I got an IG. Y'all, y'all can follow me and stuff. You know, Jamie Woods is my YouTube. My IG is uh, Jamie underscore Woods 11. You guys can follow me there on IG. I post up motivational content, dating content on the daily where I try my best to. It does get hard sometimes. Uh, but but to be honest, guys, um, just to leave it off with this final note, I, I, I believe that love is a vicious cycle, especially nowadays. It's become a vicious cycle. And I know this um, through experience because uh, I grew up, you know, going through middle school, high school, getting played. You go into college. I went into college, you know, I, I adapted that whole mindset. I looked up to these false, pro, you know, these false peers and people and, and rappers and stuff where, you know, they, they would always, you know, drop information. And, oh, you got to do this in order to get that and blah, blah, blah. So I implemented those things and I started to become the monster in my life. I started to become the person hurting people instead of the one being hurt. And so what I'm trying to say is that um, you have to be yourself at the end of the day. Don't let your past or, or, or anything like that get to you. 
because uh, the theme in all of this is that like with the whole Megan and Stallion stuff and and the whole thirty thousand dollars I'm gonna move on to the next guy or whatever is that sometimes like the grass isn't greener on the other side sometimes like you whatever you have now sometimes is really you got something good you know what I mean if you got something good stay with that because you don't know maybe the next guy or the next girl you go to may not be as good as that. Um, and I'm going I know I'm going all around the place over here, guys, because my mind is going zero to a hundred and stuff, but, but really just to stay true to yourself, um, value uh, yourself. And, and of course, uh, understand what it is you bring to the table and, and know what it is that you want that other person to bring to the table and stuff like that. And just always stay true to yourself. Don't become someone that you're not just because you're trying to get results or things like that. Uh, always stay true to yourself and, and and good things will come to you. Karma's good, you know? Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, go ahead, Shatoria. So thank you guys for having me on. You guys can catch me as a season five, season three podcast is starting October 5th. And yes, I got the wonderful Jay and Phil on that on this season coming up. So I'm really excited as we talked yeah. about acceptance. Um but yeah, you guys can check me out on IG at I am underscore Shatoria and where we talk about, we have Motivation Mondays, like they were speaking earlier, Soul Food Sundays. Um, and, you know, we just get real. We have, I have real conversations. Um, and like I said, you can check out the podcast on Apple, Spotify. Um, I am Shatoria, like I said, and season three drops October 5th. And, you know, my book is out. Um, authentic transparency, forgiveness to freedom, where we talking about the real old school trauma that people just just sweep up on the rug. So, no, nah, definitely check me out, and um, you know, always just hit me up about anything and everything. Trust me, we get messages, and and also we always take new guests for podcasts as well. Um, you know, trying to make a difference in the community any way that we can. I definitely leave with people. Um, it's funny how both Jamie and Jay said what they said. Um, learn your word. Um, the biggest thing is you always got to start at your foundation. That's one of the things I always believe in. We start at foundation because if your foundation is cracked, you can't build a, a complete home on a cracked foundation. And so you got to go back to foundation and sometimes, and, and it's okay to begin anywhere. That is literally my slogan for my business. Begin anywhere. You can, st- can nobody tell you you can't restart again. You can hit the restart button because guess what? You got the opportunity to do it. Hit the restart button and know that every day is a new day to begin anywhere. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> um, I'm philosophical. Um, one half uh, co-host of the Less Rap podcast. Uh, you can find us at uh, Less Rap 2 on Twitter, Less Rap underscore on Instagram, and also uh, Less Rap on YouTube. Um uh, if you guys have not been paying attention to Echo Chamber, Echo Chamber is getting better each week. Uh, we got more content coming out. Um, and, and also let us know what you guys think about the content uh, we've previously posted. Uh, we've got episodes with uh, Jamie Woods. Like I say, he's been one of our, he was one of our first guys to get on the show. We really appreciate it. Him for that, always, always. And we appreciate Ms. Shatoria for giving us an opportunity and a platform to be able to speak on her show, just as much as uh, being able to take a lot of my uh, craziness, as I always joke, and Jay's uh, wittiness and, and intuitiveness no, on the show. I'm not witty, but I'll, I'll take uh, it. it, it <laughs> introspective, we'll call it. There we we'll, go. There we go. <laughs> we'll call it. Um, and I, I really appreciate everybody that's given us a chance and really been here on the journey. Uh, Jamie Woods is always uh, supporting us and telling us how we've done, come a long way. And I always joke with him and say, you know, this podcast was built on the conversations me and Jay have had on the phone. Uh, mm-hmm. So I, I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate everybody that comment during the DMs that, that they really support us, uh, even though it could be a little discouraging. Really appreciate everybody. Um, so uh, as far as my words of wisdom is on both spectrums of it. Uh, I just spoke yesterday, very amazing content with Ms. Shatoria on identity crisis. And speaking about it today, again, makes me feel like uh, this is not a, just a man thing, right? I feel like this is also an identity crisis uh, women are seem to be going through. Uh, but it sounds like from 
what we talked about today, it's not just an identity crisis, it's an insecurity. Uh, it's a it's a, a fear of accepting not only yourself, but also understanding and being able to be with people and putting people in your circle that are willing to, to tell you. And, you know, the worst thing about it is the one person that you're not listening to is yourself, is you're not looking yourself in the mirror and saying, you know what, you know, I'm here for a reason, you know, God is going to put someone in my life, or if he doesn't, you know, I'm going to find a way to change this world and change the narrative of this world. That's what I, I have to think about every day, getting up, looking myself in the mirror and saying, hey, you know, let's wrap, let's wrap podcast. It's not successful, but what can I do to make it successful? How can I make it better? You know what I mean? And I just want to, I just, I just want to also bring to people's attention that we, we're going to continue to talk about as far as like the pressure of being a man. I can just imagine some of the pressure it is being a woman. Some of the things that it takes to be a woman. A good woman is concerned with what their partner is going through. A good man is concerned on how can he evolve from where he was yesterday to where he can be today. And I've preached that a million times in the show. Age is truly a number. I'm not a big fan of R. Kelly. I respect the Leah for what they were having as far as a relationship, but age is I truly understand what that song means and that phrase means. Age is not a number. Age is not a substitute for like, you know, once you hit 30, life is over. Once you hit 40, life is over. Once you hit 45, life is, life is not over. It's just the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the fact that you've really got to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself every day that you, you got to accept yourself before you can expect someone else to accept you. Because only you know who you are. So um, like Jay said, uh, we've got some new episodes coming, new content coming. Uh, I know I've got, I promised you guys some solo content with me. Uh, that's completely on me, 100%. I can't seem to come up with the name yet. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of fear of mic, fear on the mic of being on their solo. So uh, I'm not as introspective as Jay. I'm a little bit crazy. Man, um, <laughs> so, um, as you long know. as long as you don't end up, uh, what's it called? As long as you don't end up on the water tower somewhere, you're good, brother. I know, I know, I know. So uh, that's coming. Um, so I want to thank Mr. Jamie Woods and Miss Shatoria, as always, for supporting this channel, being on the podcast and the super show. Um, we're definitely going to have Shatoria back along with Javi. That is going to be a very interesting show. Can't I cannot wait for that show. Cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> cannot wait for that one. They're going to be a, a lot of puzzling looks coming from Shatoria's side, and uh, I can I can see Javi and Shatoria having their own show on each other's platforms. I can see that happening. Um, so uh, again, really appreciate you guys, and really thank you guys, and really thank everyone that supported the show and made us who we are today. Make sure you guys follow Mr. Jamie Woods and also follow. Shatoria. Um, the, all their information is going to be down in the description. And again, I am Philosophical, your co-host of the Let's Rock Podcast, the Super Show, um, and continue to, to be there and, and put this out, get this out there. Really appreciate everyone. And thank you guys again. Um, and we're out. Peace. Yeah. Take it easy.